The time had finally came for me to build my greenhouse. First thing we did, we just marked the corners nice and simple and slowly kind of after the rain started digging out all the extra dirt since it was on a slope here. We had to grade it for the floor to be able to be nice and level. We rented an auger from Home Depot to help us dig these holes. We have clay soil. It was so difficult to dig by shovel that we just splurged and we were able to rent this for about $60. After those holes were dug, we were able to set the posts. We put them in quickcrete and we leveled them with each other. Here we're putting the footers in and putting a piece of two by four so we have a level surface to work on. These were all nice and level and we'll just continue digging out the extra soil. When we had first sourced these windows off Facebook market, it was mid-March and we had laid them out in our garage and numbered them, kind of imagining what we wanted this greenhouse to look like. So now it was time to kind of put that plan into action. We laid them out again, we measured them, and we just kind of started winging this wall. We had imagined where our fillers needed to be and we had kind of spent the winter and summer thinking and dreaming about this. And finally the time was kind of to put our plan into action here. And just one went out of time. If they were a little bit big, we just took a circle saw and we were able to cut off the extra wood, wooden frames if we needed to. Same thing here, this is for the back wall. We're putting in our header. We have our fillers laid out and we cut the windows if we needed to. We tried not to. There were a few windows towards the ends that did need to be cut off because they were either a little bit wide or a little bit too tall. This wasn't a big deal for us because we knew that this would probably happen with windows that are being repurposed and also with material that was being repurposed as well. As you can see, we had new footers and the new headers and the new posts but the rest of the material is all being repurposed from a porch we had taken apart earlier that spring. The top windows opening on the back wall was a feature that I really wanted to have just to make sure that I had good ventilation. My husband worked on the roof when I was out of town for the weekend, so I do not have footage of him putting the peak together, but this is just a walk around of what it looked like from the outside and the inside. So they're just putting on that last board on both sides here and pulling everything together. As you can see, we still don't have the front done here. That is because we did not have windows sourced for the front yet. So we had to wait a week or two till we found what we were looking for. And then we were able to put that in. Here we are taping. We taped inside, we taped outside. And this is nothing fancy. This is just painter's tape and brown paper. And we just made to sure to seal all around the edges because we didn't want to have to deal with scraping off paint. And this was probably the longest part out of the whole process. It was the most tedious because we had to do every window and if, and if it was split, it was like taping two separate windows. But it was definitely worth it in the end because we were able to just take the paper off and the windows were nice and clean. Here we are sanding, just a good old fashioned sanding block quickly running over all the windows, just scuffing it up and then dusting it all off as, what, as we go along, just so we have a good surface to paint on. We decided along the way that we were going to caulk the windows because they were older windows and there were cracks just to ensure we were filling all the extra cracks. So we had started with hand painting everything. And as we're painting along, my husband says, honey, I'm a painter. I can't believe I'm hand painting all of this. So he ran to Home Depot and this is something that he has wanted for a while just to have because we do do a lot of projects that require painting. He said, I'm going to get myself a spray gun. And so he was very happy to have this and to be able to use. So first coat we did hand painting and then the second coat was much much quicker and he went over with the spray gun and he painted it all with the spray gun and he was happy and I was happy and I even got to count it as an early Christmas gift. 
Like I had said earlier, we were sourcing windows, but while we were waiting to find some windows, we had we had found a door at the local thrift store that my husband was able to install and then we just painted it with the rest of the greenhouse. This is corrugated plastic that we used for the roof. It is eight millimeter. I was able to get it from our local nursery supply. It was a much better price and quality than our local Home Depot or Lowe's. We got these small H and along with them we got large H to install with the roof. We were able to cut this with a good old fashioned grinder and the small H went along the edge of the roof and the big H's went between the panels. These are the screws we used. They had a little gasket but we chose to buy a big gasket along with them and we just added the ga big gasket below the small gasket. The only reason we really did this was because we wanted to ensure that no water would leak through. Here my husband had to get on the roof. We bought this roof peak from Lowe's. I believe we had to buy two pieces because they only had them in 10 foot lengths and we had a 12 foot roof. So he's just on the peak here and installing that. It had started to drizzle and we just wanted the roof on and done before it rained. We were so happy to then sit and listen to the rain inside the greenhouse. These are windows we got off Facebook market again and we just painted them and we are installing them, cutting them to size a little bit because they were a, about an inch and a half, a little bit too wide. This is the leftover corrugated plastic that we had from the roof and we were able to use them as fillers. They were then framed in with cut down two by four pieces and just nailed into place. Our goal for this greenhouse was to use as much reclaimed material as possible and the most we paid for it was just the roof and this is the final reveal.